All right, everybody, it's uh, 3 July, the day that uh, Americans grew balls. <laughs> Rather than uh, 4th of July, the day that we used them. So, I wanted to have one more foundational conversation, better than basic. Okay, I tell you guys all the time to go out and use your stuff. Go forth and do. Learn the Hebrew way by doing, right? Do something and learn from your mistakes and get better and better and better. Uh, that's what I mean by better than basic. Okay, basic can be used as an insult to degrade somebody. You're just basic. Um, but it's important that uh, you start at basic but don't stay at basic. Okay, it's really important that you build basic proficiencies with the gear that you have. And I say gear because ultimately, you know, Pastor Joe was just talking about this in the video. What can you count on? You can count on your creator, right? Your spiritual, uh, your mental, hopefully, and uh, your physical, hopefully, right? But ideally, you're augmenting um, at least your physical capabilities with gear. So... And there's an interesting dichotomy there. That's what this means. This finger wave means dichotomy. There's an interesting dichotomy there where because we exist on this physical plane in this temporal world, we tend to focus on the physical things and we augment our physical capabilities with gear, with equipment. Um, don't neglect your mental capabilities, augmenting your mental capabilities by learning, by absorbing, by training, by doing, right? Reading writing just the exercise was just writing down goals keep a goal journal uh, miss harmony and i have decided we're going to start keeping a prayer journal because of spiritually speaking because of how powerful we have seen prayer be in our life the manifestation of the father's will in conjunction with our prayer that we be in line with his will for our life okay and prayers of intercession on the behalf of other people so, you know, in augmenting your spiritual uh, through the Most High Yah. Um, but in the temporal world, we tend to augment our uh, skill sets and our abilities with gear, which I don't have a problem with as long as you understand how the gear helps you and it actually helps you so that you understand the basics, right? You need the basic foundational knowledge. And I'm constantly preaching that to you guys. But then you need to get better than basic. Because when you know how to do everything, you can do everything. And your everything might just be... <clears throat> There's so many facets to survival, surviving, to SHTF, to um, preparedness, there's, it's everything. It's everything a man or a woman needs to live. You really need to know how to do. The challenge with that is uh, it's so all-encompassing and overwhelming that it makes it very easy to understand where specialization of labor came from. Because maybe I'm not so good with birthing baby goats, but I am really good at putting rounds on target or growing corn or building bridges or whatever. Okay, I have my skill sets, the things that I've trained on, and you have your skill sets, the things that you've trained on, which is why having in a community or a group, a MAGA mutual assistance group, a, a group of people of one accord, like the Arkansas Preparedness Network, for example, um, it's why it's so important to have groups of people who work together, right? Because if I poke you with this finger, it probably isn't going to hurt very much. But if I ball this into a fist, I put that big old knuckle upside your head, that's going to hurt a lot more, right? So there's strength in numbers here. And it allows us to specialize in our labor. And that specialized labor allows you to go deeper and get more and more and more specialized, which can be a bad thing if you know everything about one thing and nothing about everything else. But getting back to better than basic, okay? I'm sitting in the master closet in Texas because sometimes I talk to y'all from here. 
Uh, I am surrounded by, I'm not going to pan this camera around because, you know, my undies are over there on a shelf. That's just awkward. Uh, but I'm surrounded by millions of calories, thousands, tens of thousands of rounds of ammunition. And this is the Texas stuff, the stuff that we kept here. Um, dozens of loaded magazines, a full kit, operational kit, Minuteman loadout is just the other side. Um, and my boots are over there and there's several thousand dollars in comms on the floor over here. And there's two more kits that I'm in the process of assembling for the Lord knows. And literally he knows and I don't. Okay. Um, now I had to start somewhere. I had to buy my first 10 pound sack of rice. I had to buy my first... 30 round magazine right I had to buy my first pound of salt my first can of green beans right my first radio I mean there here's a radio bag let's see what do we got I mean you know it becomes almost like a crap shoot in here I got chargers I got radios here's a radio just there's a Kenwood T, Kenwood TK 3400 it's not a cheap radio one of those radios set up properly is about 400 bucks. But before that, I had the cheap Midlands. You know, you get two of them for 50 bucks. You know, with the little, you know, line of sight, 35 miles. No, no. Line of sight, uh, 350 yards, you know. Um, I mean, here's a good example. Here's an old brake barrel single shot 12 gauge. Set up with buckshot. And it was getting rusted, so we painted it. It's not super high speed, but man, I could wreck you with it if I wanted to. Not that I want to, but I could, right? But I had to progress past basic in all of these things, right? So that 12 gauge shotgun is not a slicked out Mossberg 590A1. It's not, but it'll get the job done. But once you build a proficiency, you understand how to use that one shot shell and make it happen. Okay, next. Now I can make it happen every time I squeeze this trigger, every time I send that round. How many rounds can I send now? Let's upgrade. Okay, we'll move, work to a pump shotgun. Or, okay, I got one of these. How many more of these can I get? So forth and so on. So if you are brand new to preparedness, I would encourage you to get training that complements the gear that you're probably going to end up buying. Doesn't mean don't have the gear, but know how to use it. Please, I beg you, know how to use it. Okay. Now, if you have the gear and you have some training and you have some food and you have some buddies, get better than basic, okay? Go the next step. Get intermediate. Now, I've said this before many a time and I'll say it again. If you are into preparedness and if your other friends, your, your friends, your loved ones, coworkers, whatever, know you are into preparedness. And I submit the time for OPSEC will be coming to an end. There's going to come a point where we are going to need to build like-minded groups of people on such a scale that it would not behoove us to keep quiet about our intentions, our skills, our abilities, our material, all of that. We have to build community. We have to build tribes. Regardless of our circumstance, we have to do that. And if you never open your mouth in love to another person, because of OPSEC, bro, you will not have that. So, as other people come to know you and know your capabilities and know what you have and know why you have it, you will be the de facto expert for your group. I would encourage you to, to build other people's skill sets and encourage them to build other people's skill sets. The things that they are good at and they have a proclivity for, they like to do. Um, and that's a management technique and that's 
part of the reason why I explain management techniques and entrepreneurial principles to y'all. Because at some point, you're going to be the mayor of oh shit town. You're going to need to know how to run people. Even if it's for five minutes, five days, five months, or five years, you're going to have to know how to run people. So as you build your skill sets, you build your equipment, you build your calories, right? Get better than basic and drag some people along for the ride with you. Um, as many as you can. Don't force them because they'll resent you. And if they resent you, they're not going to be inclined to help you when you need it. So don't force anybody. But if they show an interest, please try and encourage them and just get better than basic. If you're not basic yet, don't be ashamed of that. Ask for help. Ask me for help. Ask. There's lots of people you can ask for help, right? Um, but if, if you've hit your first benchmark, your basic, congratulations. You made it there. Rejoice. In fact, this is for you. Now, good job. The hard work begins again. Now get better than basic. Don't be stagnant. Don't sit still. There, there is no plateau. There's only going uphill or going downhill. If you're stuck here, you're actually doing this. So always get a little bit better. Every day, just get a little bit better. Get better than basic.